So one wonders how the 31st of December 2020 will be celebrated. Will Fox be happy because this abnormal year has finally ended? Or will the financial strain that is caused by the COVID-19 allow many to roll out from their homes and houses? Ladies and gentlemen, I also don't know, but only time will tell. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Simon Kin. <laughs> So friends, January as usual fireworks ushered us into the year 2020. With joy and gratitude we embraced it and we all were excited for having completed 2019. The skies were blue until March when we learned of the first coronavirus confirmed case in Uganda. When was it in your country? Man, comment down below, let us know. Now the impact of this confirmation, ladies and gentlemen, it started to bite when the president announced on the 20th of March, the closure of all institutions of learning. With just a few of our belongings, ladies and gentlemen, we had to abruptly leave for home. Well, this was just the start of the closure of things. Church buildings, cinema halls, bars, mosques, malls, arcades many businesses were shut public means of transport and private cars all put on a pause except you had a sticker from the ministry of transport ladies and gentlemen many resorted to cycling as a means of transport we have seen many cases of underage pregnancies we have seen child labor cases rise we have seen gender-based violence cases rise we saw many marriages shaking ladies and gentlemen all these years people have been dying people have been dying each year but this very year ladies and gentlemen many people that are known to many of us have passed on some to coronavirus and some to other diseases but eh a lot has happened this year that i cannot explain it that i cannot say it all here in the time that we have but the mere fact that you're watching me right now ladies and gentlemen it's something for you to be grateful for why because you are still alive you can still touch your heart and feel the heartbeat and you feel the palpitations of your heart you are still alive so be grateful now this year has taught many of us to spend less and save something <laughs> it has taught us that it is possible to live without pizza and kfc mm -hmm. it has taught us ladies and gentlemen that it is possible to exercise from your home this year 2020 has taught us that it is possible to stay clean and often wash your hands 2020 it has taught us that it is possible to work from home. It has taught us that you can run your business from a distance. The year 2020, it has taught us, ladies and gentlemen, that you can share a meal with a neighbor who is lacking. It has taught us that if you're a small or a big company or a business owner, that you can reinvent to stay in business. What am I trying to talk about? Many restaurants, ladies and gentlemen, when the restaurants were closed, many restaurants opted or they invented to food delivery. You see that? So. It has taught us that all these things are possible. It has taught us that it is important to cherish the many good times that we share with friends and family. Because anytime self-isolation and social distancing doesn't knock, this year has taught us that amid is your greatest mess, you can choose to see the message. It has taught us, ladies and gentlemen, that it is important to do farming because time can come, ladies and gentlemen, when the borders are shut and you need to feed your people. But amid is still all, you are still alive. Thank God for that. Be grateful. What am I trying to say here? If you lost something, rise up with greater enthusiasm, ladies and gentlemen, because it doesn't matter how many times you fall. What matters is how many times you rise up and continue pursuing your dream. Maybe these tests and challenges came to test and prove you worthy. You see the river is able to cut through a rock not because it's so powerful, not because it's so vehement. No, it's because it is persistent. Will you be persistent in 2021? Will you be persistent next year? Will you be persistent next year, ladies and gentlemen? Because it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you go through, but how you go through it is what matters. Are your muscles getting built? Are your muscles getting built? Is your mind getting built? That is what is most important. Yeah, this year has been full of challenges, but are the lessons listed down? Have you listed down the lessons that you have been able to know? Have you listed down the lessons that you've been able to learn that are going to help you just in case something like this happens again? And let me tell you something. With God as the source of your supply, friends, 
elevate your eyes to see the things above. Believe God for greater things next year. Believe God for greater things in 2021. Like they say that the hunter can only shoot at the deer he sees and you cannot grow beyond your imagination. What am I trying to say? It means that it's a blank check. You decide how much you want because grace has already provided for you. So... <coughs> Because grace has already provided for you. It is a time for action upon action. <laughs> I'm not talking about these movies that we watch of Netflix and, and Marvel. No, what I'm saying here is, is that if 2020 has been your year to birth an idea, do not hesitate. Begin to work upon it in 2021. Be inspired, friends. Be encouraged, friends. Because maturity is when you stop complaining, making excuses, and you start making changes. Believe that you are before even you see it manifest, friends. Your biggest adversity can be your greatest testimony. And your greatest testimony is your transformational story. To those around you, to those next to you, and to those that are going to come after you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my last tip for you. This is my last nugget for you. They always say that there is always celebrations when opportunities meet preparation ladies and gentlemen prepare for the countless opportunities that god has in store for us next year prepare for the countless opportunities that god has in store for us 2021 ladies and gentlemen i want you to be optimistic i want you to be brave i want you to be encouraged i want you to be inspired happy new year wonders it has been great thank you for the support thank you for each and everything thank you for the lessons thank you for the encouragements that you've given unto me this year i'm grateful i'm super grateful ladies and gentlemen if you like this video consider giving it a thumbs up make sure you share it with a friend because it is this important and don't forget to join us ladies and gentlemen if you believe what we believe and what we what we believe we believe in helping others discover their true selves that they may inspire the rest of the world to do the things that inspires it ladies and gentlemen click subscribe turn on the notification bell and you'll be notified every single time when we post god bless you and i'll see you on the other side much love to you all bye bye